Gina, what is this day like for these uh, for these Miracle League youngsters getting a chance to come out here to Brother Martin? Oh, they love it. This is something they look forward to every year. Um, you know, these kids have been dressed in 6 o'clock this morning knowing they get to come out here and play with these guys on a real baseball field. So it's something they look forward to every year. Brother Martin's been a great partner for you for many years, and obviously I know this started out as just a just a baseball event, but now you've got, what, football players out here, you've got cheerleaders out here. It, it, it's become so much more for not not just uh, not just your youngsters, but but for the Brother Martin and uh, you know, students and their cheerleaders. Right, yeah, the Brother Martin community has accepted us like their own, so um, it's become a community event through the Brother Martin School, so, you know, the ROTC's out here, we had the band out here one year, so it's been incredible. They have accepted us and taken us under their wing. What, what, what is your favorite part about this day? Oh, I, my favorite part is seeing the Brother Martin kids interact with the Miracle League kids. So that's my favorite part. And and what um, what do you? I heard you mention earlier that that maybe it, it, this is more enjoyable and, and more special to to the Brother Martin kids just for the fact that that they get to spend a few hours, you know, with, with these who are less fortunate. What can you can you talk about what what you've seen out of those uh, young men? over the years yeah I mean those kids the brother Martin kids accept our kids like they're their friends um, every year there's a whole bunch of them that request the same players they had from the previous years so I think they start to appreciate what they have and realize that you know life is not always a bowl of cherries and there's obstacles that we have to face and they I think they're seeing those some of the obstacles today Miracle League continues to grow, I, you know, now now a presence on the North Shore. Where, where did where did this start and, and where are you now just in terms of, uh, you know, participation and the, and, and the other uh, numbers? Um, we actually, it started in Conyers, Georgia, and then one of our board members from Children's Hospital brought it over to New Orleans and we built a field and our numbers have been growing and then we decided to bring it to the North Shore where their community of special needs is very populated. So um, our numbers on the South Shore are right at over 200 players, and the North Shore obviously is growing by leaps and bounds. This is one day out of 365, obviously, and a, a chance for, you know, to, to see what goes on at Brother Martin. But it's uh, for for the the people who have to to deal with these uh, special needs children 365 days a year. What what does the Miracle League really bring to them uh, on a, on a regular basis more than just today? Well, it gives them a chance to network. You know, when they're out at the baseball games, they're with um, other buddies that um, buddy them. You know, for a season. So the parents are out networking. The um the parents have a great bond that they share, and they're out there cheering, making plans for dinner, planning parties. So I think the parents, it becomes a community for them also.